you ever resent your job because you wish you could stay home full time with the kids? Yeah, I do. To be honest with you, I do because it's like, especially with nursing, because you're giving all your time, effort, and emotions to your kids, and yet you're still giving all your time, effort, and emotions to your patients as well, and the patient's family, and so it's you never have time to just decompress. You never have time to to turn your brain off because you're always taking care of somebody all the time. What's left for you? <laughs> Not much. To be honest. That's Amy Zibala, a mom and nurse who spends so much time caring for others that she didn't realize the potential distress she faced by not making time for herself. Stay tuned to find out how moms cope when part of them gets lost after having a baby. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. We want to be that tribe of girlfriends you wish you had alongside you every day to relate to as we reveal our successes and failures to help you feel better about the job you're doing as a mother and a professional. Amy Zibala is a warrior when it comes to nurturing. She cares for the terminally ill and their loved ones as a full-time hospice nurse all night and then takes care of her 10-month-old daughter and one-year-old niece all day. But Amy has forgotten to nurture the most critical person in her life and she's recently begun to realize how dangerous that can be. Currently I work 5 p.m. to um, 8 in the morning. I'm an on-call nurse at night. so. Sometimes I go out at night and sometimes I don't. So I work all night and then I take care of the girls during the day. And when do you sleep, Amy? So it depends on the day. So sometimes, like some nights are really bad. And then there's other nights where I do get a couple hours of sleep. So I kind of just, you know, you try to nap when they nap. And it was a struggle in that transition, trying to figure out, okay, now I have to go back to work. And now how am I gonna manage, you know, my sleep schedule? Yeah, it's definitely a challenge. Since her baby came along, Amy realizes she's missing a passion in her life that used to bring her excitement and stress relief. Is there something that used to be a part of you that's not anymore because you're just too busy with all this? Um, well, yeah, I mean, basically the biggest thing um, that completely changed was every Friday night we used to have like a game night with our friends. And we haven't had game night like that since before the baby was born. Amy says she can't reduce her work schedule because her family needs her income for the mortgage, vacations, and all the places she wants to bring her daughter and her niece. I don't want to just sit at home and have them sit in front of the TV or, or sit in front of a tablet. It's I want them to experience life and be able to go out and do things. And so, and so But of course, being able to do that, it costs money. If Amy keeps up her pace of barely sleeping and never finding time in her life for the things that were meaningful to her before she became a mom, Amy's in danger of harming her health and her happiness, which could impact her family. It's just that mom guilt, I think. I think that's where it comes more so, is just that mom guilt, like, well, it's my child, I should be taking care of them. You know? You are. <laughs> you gotta take care of yourself. Like they say in the airplane, put the mask on you first, right? So um, I really hope you get that one night a week again. Game now, that sounds fun. What, game, what games did you used to play? Like Cards Against Humanity or something? <laughs> well, we actually, we had a D&D &D group. So Dungeons and Dragons group. And yeah, so we used to do that, which was a lot of fun. And um, occasionally we do like different board games or... or you gotta get back to D&D, because &D, that can be kind of part of your life. And that's like a little fantasy that it's missing now. I really hope you get back to that. I'm so proud Amy revealed the part of her life that's missing because that's the first step to reclaiming it. It doesn't matter what it is, it's different for all of us. What matters is how it makes her feel. I bet you kind of recognize that you would really benefit by getting back to that. Yeah, especially after the whole 10 months of having her. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hitting that point where I definitely need a break. <laughs> But Amy didn't know how to find time for her fantasy gameplay in her new life as a working mom until she opened herself up to some new solutions. Just or get a sitter. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yes. 
That's You're making money, right? You said you need to you need to have that money so you can spend it on something that is meaningful. And if you push your point your yourself to to the point where I mean, I have a family member who pushed herself to the point where she ended up in depression because she overloaded herself. You know, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly the reason why, but when you overload yourself, you get to burnout. So you're recognizing that that could be coming, burnout. Oh yeah. And so are you willing to, have you gotten a sitter at any point? Have you paid someone to watch your kid? I've never actually paid anybody, but I have my mother-in-law, which we need to utilize more because she is definitely willing to watch the girls. So it's like, we just have to call her up and actually say, hey, can you watch her this day? So we can go do a date night or we can go hang out with friends. Thankfully, Amy is ready to take that next step to reach out for some babysitting help to make time for her game night again. Because we can all be better moms when we have things in our life that get us exhilarated and let us forget about the stress of kids and job and housework even for a short time. For more tips on feeling confident and relaxed as a working mom, subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to meet other overachieving moms in our tribe who share their victories and their disasters to help all of us realize we're not alone in our struggles, our flaws, our worries, and our gifts.